Hello, good morning, welcome. This is Thursday, the 12th of January, 2023, and welcome to the Marsons. If you are a brand new subscriber, welcome. If you've not yet subscribed, please push the subscribe button, notifications, and like the video as well. Comment if you wish. We are in our new house, as you know from the previous vlogs, if you've been watching them, and we're doing a, a little bit of excitement outside. We're having some decking put in. So I'm gonna show you a quick glimpse of the garden in its first stages of the decking. So this is what it looks like now. So it's quite cold out here at the moment, but uh, you can see that the, the main posts are being put in here. And then we're gonna have some more strips of wood down here. We've had a little bit of a gap there because of the, the drainage that uh, runs down the side there, which you've got to have anyway. And then we're having more decking placed down towards the back there. And then also down towards there. And then we're gonna leave this little bit here. Uh, we're gonna put some plants and shrubs down there. Cut that back a little bit. We've got other plans for this part of the decking, which we'll show you very, very soon. So I love building projects and I love things coming to fruition you know you've got that kind of vision in your head it's mainly Kirsty's and my vision we wrote it down on a piece of paper we took a photo we scrawled on the screen that's the washing by the way <laughs> as you can hear draining but we, we love this kind of thing and it's something to enjoy I can't wait for it to be finished really hey good morning these days go by quick don't they <laughs> Uh, so it is day two of the decking which is being done outside. It's very very windy, it has been over the past couple of days. Uh, it's been on and off rain. Today it's going to be windy but hopefully sunny as well, although the dark clouds on the horizon don't tell us that. But let's have another quick look at what Ian's been up to. By the way, Ian Wilson, Handyman Services, going to be based across the northeast as well of the UK, building all sorts of stuff. He's the guy that built our wonderful Mars bar and my studios. He is brilliant. You've got a vision in your head, he will then implement that and take it to reality. He is a fantastic guy, he really is. So I'll not bother opening up the door because as I say, it's quite windy and it'll affect the microphone, but as you can tell, just please ignore the, <laughs> the basketball hoop and all this uh, here because that's obviously going to get removed. Down at the bottom end you can tell that's where the barbecue is going to go, a bit of a seating area as well. That's the walkway down there and this is where we're going to have uh, chairs etc and that's where the hot tub chit chat will return just there with our hot tub that's going to get installed and then we're going to have a bit of a privacy panel which is going to be installed over there. Uh, probably gonna uh, clear this area here, cut back those shrubs as I've said before, probably put a little bit of a border around there, down there, and then put some nice bark chippings and some more shrubs and maybe grow something up the side here of the garage and uh, illuminate it with some little fairy lights that we've got in mind. That's Kirsty's department to do that. Hopefully the decking is gonna start to go and you can see the first piece of decking which is there. All this decking will be going down the side, so it's gonna go lengthways. Likewise, that's going to follow the pattern all the way through up to there and then lengthways across the top. I reckon the decking will be down today. So keep on watching for more updates as we bring them to you with a completion of the back garden. Another day passes and we have another little bit of the decking which has been done. <laughs> As you can tell, for all these days that pass by, uh, that's how long it's taking to get the decking done. But you know what? All good things come to those who wait. As you can see, Yet again, it's a bit windy today, but we've got some decking, more decking has been put down there and all the way through to there. So we've just got this little bit to do here and then there's a stretch that can be done down that side. And just over here, we're gonna have uh, a little vanity shield which has been put up there as we're gonna be having the hot tub. 
just down that side there. It will look fabulous once it's done. We've already established what we're gonna be doing on this bit here and down to there as well. So looking forward to that. So that is another piece of the decking done. Until the next time. Good morning, welcome. Another day passes and more of the decking is created. It's not a particularly windy day, so I'm gonna open up this, this back uh, part here because it's just cold, really. That's all it is. So let's open up this door. Excuse me, teaser. <laughs> there we go. So there's a lot more of this done now. It goes all the way around there. I need to sweep all this but it's now being decked all the way through to there. And we've got a little vanity fence which has been put up here. So we've got these slats and these posts around here. So we can hang some lights around the top part here and then the hot tub will go down there. And so it's gonna look really nice. Obviously we're gonna shift these bits here I keep talking about this border. We're gonna stick around here, which won't take any time whatsoever. And it'll start to look really nice. Nice little barbecue area down here. Still trying to think of maybe a little barbecue shack with a roof over the top. That's definitely something to, to bear in mind uh, to have there. And another vanity shield just down here as well. So we've just got a tiny little bit of uh, privacy around this decking area, but it's a huge decking area, it really is quite big. Did you just see Teaser cock his leg? <laughs> it's the day of the reveal. We've been working really hard on this over the past couple of weeks. It's all been in preparation. This is what it looked like. You can see uh, the design was there in Wilson Handyman Services. Uh, who's now changed his name by the way and the name is actually not him himself has changed his name but <laughs> his services northeast gardens and something or other so anyway you'll see the full uh, title of his business on the screen right now but as you can tell those those were just the the bare bones of the decking and now it looks like this finished it maybe a few little bits here and there maybe the front but the back is done and it's not even spring and we're ready to sit and enjoy so I'm going to show you the little bits that we've put in and explain some of the items so obviously we've got our usual chairs here which we've had for quite a while now we've got a new hot tub we've been in it a couple of times and it's lovely it's exactly like our old well I say exactly like our old one it's the Vegas the lazy spa Vegas but it's actually a little bit shorter and seems a little bit wider which is quite good because I can actually sit on the bottom this time without having to kneel up sometimes the other one was quite deep and um, I had to sort of we always filled it with probably far too much water that's probably the problem and then um, if I sat on the, my bottom I'd literally my ears would be underwater whereas this one is uh, a little bit shallower and it's lovely I absolutely love it it's um the brand new versions have actually got a free shield in as well so you can use it in cold weather it kicks in when it gets below the optimum temperature which is about four or five degrees so it'll keep it up to sort of 10 degrees for you if you're not using it and stop it from uh, getting too cold it's got a fancy new pump as well we've got our lights go all the way around I shall pan around the garden so you can see so we've got them all the these lights are so long we used to have them in our old decking um, just sort of like drapes along and there was so much of it we didn't know what to do with it it was hanging everywhere so we've actually got enough to go in the whole of this garden which is amazing and all around the top so we've got these lovely privacy screens here which Ian has kindly uh, made for us just to give next door and ourselves just a little bit of um, a shield from each other because obviously with a bit of a raised deck it's not too raised but obviously you're a little bit higher you don't want to be um, peering over people's fences and again on that side, we can make the hot tub a bit private. So we've got the decking that spans across the width of the garden here. We have 
a deck path. Obviously the lights were that big and we didn't want to start pinning things on fences. So we've uh, put it on along the decking so we can actually see how we're down. Look, we can just follow the lights. We've got Chris's new barbecue, which is obviously star of the show here. He's just actually put this up because we're having a barbecue tonight. And there's little bar stills there, and little bar area there. Um, it goes all the way around, very pretty. Got a beautiful blossom tree from the next door's garden behind us, which is all blossom in there, it's very pretty. And so actually getting onto the blossom and this area here. When Ian actually made it, he said, it looks like the Chinese theatre, doesn't it? So actually it's got me and Holly thinking, well, I'll go for, no, it's not Chinese, but we'll go for like a little Japanese theme in the garden because this is actually, when it blooms, it's going to be um, a Japanese acer, this plant. So me and Holly were at the garden centre yesterday and she's, uh, she set her little eyes on this and she said, oh, look, we could get this little temple and put that in the garden. So, which was the last thing I was looking for in the garden centre, but I went along with it and do you know what it looks lovely we've gone for um so we've gone for kind of japanese colors they have like kind of vibrant colors they have autumn colors and reds and pinks and lots of different vast things don't they that just looks unusual anyway we've got that let's just add a little bit of different because there's a lot of green in this garden there's a beautiful holly bush there oh and do you know what there's so many robins that just live in the tree behind it's like there was two robins yesterday morning there was three the other day um oh, it's absolutely gorgeous i love robins we've got this this is just what was already in the garden, so just leaving that here, just to fill this gap, this area. And the, uh, the lights across there, we've got some natural ivy here, which I'm gonna kind of put a bit more trellis up and try and train it up there. This is just a, a false piece of ivy to just hide the garage because it's a little bit on the dirty side at the bottom. We've got this little wooden planter here with three areas for plants. So this is kind of like, um, this kind of goes quite red and um, pretty so when that gets a little bit more advanced it'll have a bit more colour. A couple of little shrubs and a flower down there and this is the most beautiful plant I've ever seen it's gorgeous we thought it looked quite Japanese with the um, pink and the yellow flowers there and also this pot as well which was in the garden um, as well looks matches pink flowers nice detail on there and this little grassy thing which I love Stands out lovely, nice contrast there on the wood chip. And we've got this in the corner, which again is a climbing plant. So again, another piece of trellis on there or something as it starts to grow to help it train up there. It's whatever that is. I'm actually not gonna try and pronounce that, but it looks very pretty. And I've got a couple of little pots with some fern and some little pinky flowers there, another one on that side. I'm gonna get some little stands for this pot here because obviously putting stuff on decking keeps the, it makes the um, the wood stay quite wet. So you can get little feet for pots these days. So I'm gonna get some of them and uh, just stand it up a little bit. So yeah, so we've put this edging in here, put some bark down just to fill that area, put the weeds and things coming up. And when I was actually putting the bark down and doing this garden in here, I saw like a piece of, because the garden hadn't been sort of I don't know, arranged for a little while, so some, a lot of things had been overgrown, so I saw a little bit of pavement there, so I, I dug around it, I was like, oh my goodness, there's a step, and obviously then there's another bit, so I actually revealed these stepping stones the other day, when I was out, and it was dark by the time I'd finished, I'd been, it was so satisfying though, because he literally just got like a trowel, and I could feel where the, the uh, brick was, went round, and just like peeled this like square, slab of grass off it was so satisfying some of the grass actually dry underneath it was like sawdust chippings so yeah so we've got some stepping stones which are very nice because you could step along them and leads you to the, the back door of the garage and then step back over to the deck in so yeah very pleased with this lovely area all ready to sit and enjoy so as I say, we're having a barbecue tonight, my sister's coming over and uh, we've got bits to sort out over there. This is the Mars bar. Yeah, we're going to have a barbecue, aren't we Chris? Christoph, barbecue, pliers. don't we? We've had a barbecue with the pliers. Penance. What are we cooking? Prawns. <laughs> <laughs> Never in my pocket. <laughs> Alright, we'll love you and leave you guys and show you the barbecue in a bit.
This is the bit that I've been waiting for. <laughs> Stoke it up with this baby. This is the barbecue 3000. I made it up, it's not. But anyway, this is uh, this is a barbecue. Uh, we've got the charcoals, which are premium grill masters charcoals. And nothing but the best. Uh, this is the brand new Barbie. So we've got thermostat gauge on the top. We've got four vents. We've got two on the lid and we've got two down on the bottom. We've got a uh, double grill, so we've got a warmer grill on the plot on the top. We've also got a separate grill, which is here, and it's got a middle grill, which actually comes out. Oh, the best bit. This is the best bit. So watch, can't even see. Just bring this light down here so you can see. So, so watch this. So you turn the handle and up pops the ashes if you want a more intense cook, more intense heat, and you can lower that. But if your ashes are high, you've also got the added advantage of a smoker, which is down below. So you've got the smoker, which is there, and you can put your hot potatoes uh, in foil just down below. And of course, we've got this wonderful ashtray down below as well. So it's a bit of a, well, it's, it's not a late barbecue we're having, to be honest, oh, not a late barbecue we're having. Not a late barbecue we're having, but um, it is about five o'clock and it's February, so we've not got much light to work with. So that's why I've got my inspection lamp up there. And we've got the barbecue down here. So we're gonna stoke up the barbie and the first one on the new one, uh, just doing some sausages and, and burgers. But, uh, you know, this is going along with the, uh, the brand new decking that we've got, so having a bit of a decking warming party. Well, not a party, just a get together. Not even a get together, it's just him and <laughs> sister in law around. That's it. <laughs> but it's a get together. Look at this bad boy here. Look at all this double decker. <laughs> and it's the smell is oh, to die for. I. I'm in my happy place <laughs> right now, cooking these. <laughs> he's he's all right. He's good company, but uh, cooking. <laughs> you are. Fire, fire. Fire, fire, man, cook meat. Mm. Oh, honestly, the smell of this is gorgeous. I'm in heaven. Mm. Oh.